we have the LCT Storm Force engine here. $49.95. $32 in shipping and handling. $5 in sales tax. At $82.33. So this is a snowblower motor. So when the throttle is hooked up regularly, this spring is over here and when it's like that the engine's just designed to run full throttle as soon as you start it up but it's got a little pulse bulb and external fuel line so we're going to find out if this thing actually pumps it didn't have an air filter it had this air block on it so i guess like to prevent rocks from coming in or something i don't know that's the the choke this little tab up here so what I did was to try to rig up a throttle here I put this piece of angle aluminum and bolted it to the to the governor arm and I'm gonna drill some holes through there I'm gonna put a piece of angle aluminum right there I'll show you that right now so it has these uh, M8 bolts for where a tank would bolt up but I'm going to put that guy right there and then I'm going to put a throttle cable fitting through it drill a hole through here with the throttle stop and then I should be able to put the throttle cable to here and then just like that no throttle, full throttle no throttle, full throttle no throttle Full throttle. It comes with this giant pull pull handle. So I'm guessing when you're wearing gloves, you're able to grab the, the pull throttle in the snow. And then it comes with these keys here. So it's already wired up for its own kill switch. And these keys go in there, and when that key's pulled, uh, it kills the engine. So uh, the carb looks like any standard uh, 212 carb on it. And this is a, a 212 carb that we, we pulled from another engine. And it looks like oops, turn the choke off all the way so you can see it. looks like same exact bolt pattern for the carb and then when I pull it off on the back side it looks like it's the same thing as well uh, which means that you could run a standard uh, 212 carb on this or a tilt and TCT uh, etc etc or you could use this carb, bolt on one of the cone filter adapters to it, and then you'll have a cone filter. Now for the exhaust on this, the reason why I was interested in this motor, uh, besides the price of it, uh, right now Predator 212s are going for about 130 to 150, uh, depending on what coupon you get. But this exhaust is already facing toward the crankshaft, so when you have your long tail mud motor hooked onto there the exhaust is already going backwards it does have this funky dipstick right here so i guess you can check your oil from the top and it looks like this guy could be removed and just capped some way or another but then it also has your standard regular fill dipstick on it and then we have the same standard uh, three-quarter inch um, shaft 
And then the, the bolt pattern is exactly the same on the crankcase and on the engine mount as the, the Predator 212 or GX200 clones. So it looks like 100% everything lines up. So it is a Predator 212 or Honda GX clone type carburetor, which we'll put it on right now. And yeah, so your standard 212 uh, Predator style uh, carbs will bolt right up. Or the tilt into, or the tilt and TCT carburetor would bolt up to it as well. Mechanical fuel injection. All right, so I got the jets out of both of them. So this is the jet that came out of the GX uh, 270 carburetor. And then this right here is the jet that came out of the LCT Storm carburetor. So let's see if this one threads into that one. Yep, so it threaded right in there. So no issues there. So it looks like you can rejet uh, to a Tillison 212 carburetor uh, style jet or GX200 Honda clone. And then on the, the Storm, choke the choke doesn't fall off so when you go to put the cone air filter you don't have to worry about that choke holder versus on the other carburetor you have to put that that choke holder on top otherwise this guy falls right off And it's stock configuration here. All it has is a, an air block on there. And that's all that's blocking it. So it's getting full airflow uh, to the carburetor. So I'm thinking if you bolt on one of the cone air filter adapters on there, uh, you won't be having to change jets because it's already jetted for pure air and not going through a filter. All right, so we have no idea if this is gonna pump or not, but we're gonna try. It's got this little priming bolt, but we don't know how effective it is. The little kill switch is in. So this is the, the kill switch. So I guess you can drill a hole through that and then tether it to yourself. Then you have your full kill switch. Um, there's no on and off switches. So it's ready to go at all times. This is your on and off switch. So we'll see if choke is on. So when it's oriented this way, that means choke is on. Oh, I had it on choke the whole time. Duh.
So it looks like it's going to need a, a fuel pump like David said. I'm probably wrong. So I guess it likes to start full throttle. No field bowl? So we moved over the recoil to the other side because it likes to start full throttle. So choke it on. That's the 49.99 motor. Put a tachometer on it. What do you think it was revving at? It it was at least hitting 36. Um, cause uh, I imagine you could, the governor's so small on it. When you're manually pulling it, I think you could over overpower it. So you're you're probably passing 4,000. But nice. it sounded like a peppy 4,000. Yeah. So you can get this motor. So if you pick it up from the store, you can actually get it for 49.99 in whatever Nebraska from the surplus store but shipping to Arizona uh, I said it at the beginning of the video it was 30 some dollars so it's like an 87 dollar motor um, so hopefully I can get this throttle hookup for pretty cheap as well I think so and then got an external fuel line pump we might have to add a pump to this I got to do some further testing to see if it does or if just a standard marine bulb is going to work but we'll see.